Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris and this is all of the Baltic Birch I have left. I started a Baltic Birch plywood business that I run from the CNC here in the shop. And it's been pretty awesome to say the least, but I'm gonna show you the challenges I face when the material I've been using is just not readily available anymore. Let's dive into this problem and uh, let's go. Okay, so the Baltic birch plywood that I owe oh, so dear of my heart, the one that has really inspired me to create this business because it is such a cool looking product. The aesthetic of it, I love it. The strength of it, the lack of voids in it. It's all around a great thing. However, there's something going on in the world right now. Can't really mention it here on YouTube because there's policies and procedures about that. But um, the import of this and where it's made is becoming less and less prevalent. Now, um, right now, as far as I know, uh, in my area, our distributors really aren't getting much of it anymore. Now, this being said, it could change at any minute, okay? But for right now, I've gotta find an alternative because that stack of wood you saw me standing up against, yeah, that's all I've got left in this Baltic stuff, okay? So I've gotta come up with an alternative. Now, I've been working with my dealer and we've come up with a couple different options and I'm gonna tell you what direction we're gonna go. The first one was a standard high quality maple ply, both sides being maple. You can see here the the supplies are much thicker than the Baltic. I'll show you some pictures. Um, they're much thicker. The veneers are much thinner. Although it's a great cabinet ply, it, you know, I don't think it has the best aesthetic for um, what we're doing. The other problem is, is that it's, it's a little bit thicker. Um, in the CNC world, we deal with a lot of thousandths of an inch, right? So that stuff kind of matters. Um, everything that I've modeled, and I've been lucky to get the same consistent thickness of boards in, has been 0 0.70 inches. The maple, the double-sided premium maple is 0.72 in most cases, which creates when you join two pieces at a 45 or a 90 degree, they, well, that compounds. So you got a difference of, you guessed it, four one thousandths of an inch. Not that big a deal, like I said, it's easily sandable off or whatever it is, but it's just not quite the high standard that I want. So, found another alternative, and this is great. This is, I'm gonna show them to you side by side or back to back here. Again, I'll show you some more pictures. This here is a eucalyptus plywood. It is pretty darn interesting. Um, it's got 11 layers instead of 13, which is to the naked eye, it's almost negligible. It looks about the same. It's got a little bit deeper hue to it, a little bit more brown, a little bit almost lavender. Some of these images you're gonna see here of some of the things I've made already are pretty darn interesting and I actually like it. Uh, and it's gonna be a good alternative to move forward. So this eucalyptus ply, which is a pretty interesting product, is gonna be what we're gonna be making things when that big stack <laughs> goes to nothing, okay? So if you like what we're doing and you like the look of the plywoods, I'm trying to keep that aesthetic for you, okay? Um, the other thing is, is that once that stuff is gone, it's gonna be gone for the foreseeable future. Now I could, I could sit here and come on here a month later and say, it's back and who knows, but I've got to pivot in a way that is, well, advantageous, not only for me as a business, but for you too, because I think the products that we've sold so far um, over, we've sold quite a few, which has been great. And I've been very thankful for you guys supporting us. Uh, there's a, a certain aesthetic to uphold and standard to uphold. And I think this eucalyptus stuff is really gonna help me do that until the Baltic, dear to my heart, comes back um, and who knows when that's gonna be. So, um, speaking of which, got a quick announcement about this stuff, so check it out. And that announcement is the standard tool holder has a big brother. This is called the Tool Holder XL. It has been modeled to hold everything. You can hold drills in it too, but not necessarily the best fit. The original is best for that. But this is gonna hold everything from palm routers to reciprocating saws, circular saws even. We're talking even miniature leaf blowers and of course your, your famous angle grinders that you probably have lying around. This tool holder works well for those larger footprint tools and I think it has a space in most people's shops who already have this stuff kind of outfitted, right? Um, and my goal with this business as well is to make things that are aesthetically pleasing. They look organized when they're up on the wall, but it really, you don't have to mess with that. You can get these things from us and then you can get back to doing what you want to do, which is like some real woodworking with real hardwoods, which is something I probably should do a little, a little bit more of as well. Um, but I think that's coming as well. So guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. And thank you for understanding, um, at least I hope you do, understanding the, 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 the issues that small businesses face, especially logistically when 
certain products become unavailable with reasons we can't control, right? So we have to figure out what to do. And that's what I'm trying to do here. And I really do appreciate the support. So on the lookout, guys, be on the lookout for new types of wood. This eucalyptus stuff is coming. And if you like what we're doing beforehand and you want to get a piece of this action in the next few months, by all means, you know where the site is all down below. Everything a glimpse inside is down there. I always appreciate the support, guys. And if you haven't looked at the site, I mean, really, if you've been watching me for a while and you're like, what's this guy doing? Go take a look. I really would appreciate it. It just means the world to me. Those of you who really are helping put a roof over our heads and put food on our table, this is really an outstanding community to be a part of, and I thank each and every one of you. You guys have a wonderful day, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Take care.